late afternoon on the outskirts of Brentwood. Rob and Emily are out in the unmarked Vectra. Intelligence has just alerted them about a suspected phony ambulance that's been seen outside an Ipswich hospital earlier in the day. Having just pinged AMPR cameras further down the road, Rob and Emily set out to investigate. We need to catch it before it gets 29 in case we've lost it. We're looking for a car with real, like, Battenberg on the back of it. There it is. Okay. See it on the brow of the hill? Yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. In front of that white van. They soon spot an emergency vehicle up ahead. But is it genuine or a fake? An ambulance on the back of it. Get onto Suffolk now while we're... Emily radios base for some help identifying the vehicle. Could you get onto Suffolk and just um, bottom out whether this is definitely, you know, the ambulance or not? But before Suffolk can respond, the ambulance activates its emergency lights. Does he have authority to drive the blue lights? I don't know, it could be interesting. He's trying not to get pulled over, I reckon, maybe. It's a surreal situation. It's not often the cops are the ones following the blue lights. He's, he's, he's spotted us. He must have spotted us, and that's why. With both emergency service vehicles parked up, it's time for a chat. Oh, you all right? You all right? Is this your car? Sorry? Is it your car? It is, yeah. Your own private car, or...? No, I've got a service car. Oh, right. Have you got a driving licence and identification on you? Uh, I'm not afraid. No. no, OK. You've got no, no identification at all, like a bank card or anything with your name on it? I, I don't know. I mean, just so I, I pulled over because so I had a call. I think there's been an accident on the call, though. So he was on his way to attend an accident around the corner. So you work for the ambulance service, do you? I do, yeah. yeah. All right. Right, what's your name? I'm afraid I, I, I can't say anything from the camera, I'm afraid. Why's that? Why's that? Why's that? I, 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 I'll have to speak to the back of the vehicle. Okay, come and speak to me at the back of the vehicle now. He seems strangely reluctant to give his name. Is there such a thing as an undercover paramedic? He said that he was going to um, an accident to possibly help out an ambulance, but cars, I've never seen a vehicle like this help an ambulance. It's normally like the solo paramedic cars, and they're completely different vehicles, let alone, you know, he, he doesn't appear to have, like, the radio. It all seems a bit weird, really. So it's actually an ambulance, is it? Yeah, we do uh, also some uh, film work as well. Film work? Yeah. What film work do you do? Uh, Spice, it's, it's, it's mostly like the, the bill and the extenders. Oh, right. Where's your first aid kit? Spice, uh, if, if, if I see TV work, that's, that's all on set. Please. So what are you doing in it today, this afternoon, this evening? Are you a paramedic? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a technician. Uh, to be honest, uh, it's going down to, uh, to be repaired at the moment. Because it, it, it's a problem with the, um, the front, front intercate at the moment, so it's being repaired now. Right, OK. So... He's a TV extra and an ambulance technician on his way to an accident with no medical equipment via the garage to repair an indicator. Right. I'm a bit confused, obviously. I know you've been talking hmm. to my colleague. But so basically, you're, you're a technician, yeah? So normally you'd work in ambulances and things like that. Yeah. Yeah? OK. It, it just seems a bit bizarre because normally you'd expect the back to be kitted out in some respect, wouldn't you? Time to establish some hard facts using the lantern a mobile fingerprint device linked to the police database. What we're going to do, we're just going to quickly stick your finger, fingerprint on this, just because, obviously, the report that we've had, we need to just bottom out that you... Cos you only, only don't have any ID, you have to just bottom out that you are who you say you are. All right? OK. Let me take your right index finger. What right index? That's strange. An ambulance technician who doesn't know his index finger. And when the result comes back, there's yet another discrepancy. Well, funnily enough, the details he's given me um, he comes back on fingerprint as not as Mr. Whelan. How often is this wrong? Oh, this is oh, it's finger. I mean, it's fingerprints. The boat. It says here the respondent is high. So um, even if it's low, it's not normally wrong. But high means unless he's got someone else's finger. Hop in the car for a minute, yeah, and we'll be with you just to, to keep warm. If nothing Rob else. knows that this bloke's been given in the runaround and gets back on the blower to Suffolk to see if they can shed any light on the situation. Basically, we had a call from the ambulance service this morning. Yeah. Um, basically, they said that they'd had a report to them of someone driving around in a white marked-up van um, as an ambulance, pretending to be an paramedic. Right. We were, it was told to us that he'd been seen hanging around Ipswich Hospital. Yeah. The van was all marked up, blue lights on the side. Yeah. Um, it says on here, it's possible that he's known by the Met and has previously been arrested for impersonating ambulance or police. Okay. Rob's heard enough and decides to take him into the nick. 
whoever he is. We're going to go to a police station now. I'm going to arrest you for instructing a police constable in the execution of his duty, OK? Because I don't believe you're, you're who you are. Um, I don't believe the details you've given me are correct. I don't really understand what this whole ambulance thing's about either. Um, I'm going to pop you in the back of our car. We'll search this um, and we'll bring this back with us and we'll go from there, OK? OK. Jump out, um, Charles. The mystery man is led off to Brentwood. Single crew for, uh, handcuffs for officer arrest. Back at the station, the suspect admits that he gave them false details because he's only got a provisional licence. But that still doesn't explain the phony ambulance. Rob gives it a search to see if it will give up any clues. He says he works or he's employed by, which is all a little bit grey, Essex Healthcare. Um, going through the car, we found um, a stab vest here for London Ambulance Service, um, an NHS London Ambulance Service fleece. Um, you've got fluorescence, um, fairly patient transport service, London Ambulance. In here, these look like they, these have been cut off of coats. Um, London Ambulance Service again. He's even got here that somewhere I think I saw that he might even be a, some sort of paramedic inspector. Really need to find out exactly who he who he works for. I think probably Essex Ambulance, uh, no Essex Healthcare, is something he's just made up and goes with in some weird kind of fancy land that he lives in. You wouldn't want him turning up if you call 999. Put it that way. The wannabe paramedic later pleaded guilty to driving without insurance or a licence and obstructing a police officer. He was fined £150 and received six points on his provisional licence. He was also warned never to use the blue lights again when driving on public roads.